you plus on the day my beloved brothers and sisters and Christ and also the body of Christ and once again this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country Trinidad and Tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth Trinidad and Tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean sea speaking to you all in the month of April 2020 God rich in ble richest blessing and grace and love and saving salvation power to mankind everywhere Brothers and sisters, I'm the first pieces of John chapter 5. So without further ado, let the reading begin. Whosoever believe that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that love him Christ, that begot love him also is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, the saints of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. Lord. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith, our faith in God. Who is, who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believe that Jesus is the Son of God the Father. This is he that come by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bear witness, because the Spirit is true. For there am three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word which is Christ, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in the earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three are one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God, which he had testified of his Son, Jesus Christ. He that believed on the Son of God had life, had the witness in himself, and he that believed not God had made him a liar. But God is not no liar. But I thought the text is written. Because he believed not the record that God had given of his Son, Jesus Christ. And this is the record that God had given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, Jesus Christ. He that had the Son have life, and he that have not the Son of God have not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of his Son Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that we may know that he have eternal life, and that he may believe on the name of the Son of God Jesus Christ. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hear us. And if we know that he God hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death, I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a, there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one touch him not. That we could one see and touch him not. And we know that we are of God and the whole world light and wickedness. You see, the whole world light and wickedness, brothers and sisters. But the exact time is coming when the whole world will no longer lie in wickedness. The whole world will be lying in, in the righteousness of God, in the holiness of God, in the truth of God, and above all, in the love of God. A wonderful tomorrow, a glorious tomorrow. But of course, when Christ come and establish the kingdom of God upon the earth, that time I'm talking about in the future. And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know Him that is true, and we are in Him that is true, even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Let the children keep thyself from idols. Amen. So be it. Let it be so. Brothers and sisters, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton. I have just read out the first of the first pieces of John, the fourth chapter. I thank God for this opportunity to read it. I know I have kind of rushed down, and there are many things I didn't really go through with you in the 40 chapters. Uh, 40 in the fourth chapter of the first pieces of John. But but I want you, brothers and sisters, as I have completed the fourth chapter, the third chapter of John, and the fourth chapter of the first pieces of John, I want you all to go through the entire book of the first pieces of John. Reading each chapter and each verses take all the time. 
do not rush it read it and study it my dear brothers and sisters I pray that God will give you all the understanding brothers and sisters brothers and sisters so 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 brothers and sisters I just want to share other things with you in addition to the fourth pieces of John I want you all to know that all the videos that I post on my YouTube account is very important and I see a lot of the pieces that I have read I only get a little two views not even no views on it and that is very sad I am taking the conservative time to record these videos and I do not want you all to bypass these videos the first pieces of John with the different the fourth third chapter and go to the other videos this video is, is equally important to the other videos I see a lot of you all are doing that and it is not good so so with the sense so, so with the rod of correction in my hand I want to correct you all on that matter so I won't expect you all to do the right thing look at all my videos with equal importance equal importance there is no cherry picking here my dear friend when coming to my videos that I've recorded there's no cherry picking and there's no plum picking and there's no apple picking and neither no orange picking with my videos all my videos is equal importance brothers and sisters each of them is important that will benefit your life you see brothers and sisters I deal with a variety of topic that's like you go in the restaurant you have pay for that wonderful delicacy that food when they come to serve you you don't expect the, the plate to be only rice you expect uh, rice this, this, you expect them to serve you rice you expect them to serve you peas you expect the sh 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 uh, little carrots little cucumber little vegetables and of course you have your little pepper a little ketchup and above all a little mustard to go with it and other ingredients so a variety you eat that meal because you have paid for that meal and they have served you the meal and you eat that meal and you feel good and you said you have you have you have eat a good meal for your money worth for your money worth and you have left that rand restaurant a hundred percent satisfied that what you have paid for you have get it you have eat the meal and you are satisfied well the same way my videos is on different topics you have eat the whole meal you did not throw away the peas you did not throw the cucumber away you eat the rice the peas and all you eat everything you leave the plate empty what remained on the plate was what tell me brothers and sisters was a fork and a knife but the same way all the videos I want you to all to eat it up eat it up watch it and study it brothers and sisters the same way you all eat that plate of food with the peas the rice the carrots etc I'm using that classical example to eat all my videos study all my videos brothers and sisters it will benefit you all after on you eat that healthy meal on you feel strong on you feel good ah my videos is the same way brothers and sisters so there's no cherry picking here there's no apple picking here or plum picking with my videos why you all are doing that I have recognized that I observed that and with a rod of correction in my hand I'm correcting you all stop that and do the right thing the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Do the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Study my videos. Go to the scriptures. I don't want you all to follow me. I want, I'm pointing you all to Jesus Christ. So that when you all study my videos, you all have the Holy Bible, the original King James Version in, in all your hand, to read what the Bible say and see what Eric Braxton is saying and follow what the Bible say. And if I make any mistake in what I'm seeing in my video, you all will recognize that I've made a mistake by reading the Bible. But if you all are watching my videos and not reading the Bible, 
If I make any mistake, you all will not know. So I'm encouraging you all to read the Bible. Always have the Bible in the front of you all. Everything I say about the Bible, have about the King James Bible, the original King James Bible, to check to see what I'm saying is true. Yes, my dear friends. So put that in practice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, I've reached my 10 minutes mark and I do not want to go further. So I, 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 I thank God that I've completed this fifth chapter. I'm reading it to you from the first pieces of John, the fifth chapter. So in conclusion, shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. May God bless you all and keep safe. Because right now, the whole entire world, the international community, the whole globe, we are facing the corona, corona virus 19 pan pandemic all over the world. You see how much people is infected? You see how much people have died? Ah, so I pray that everyone follow all the health rules, the health rules that are from the, uh, from the health professionals, the doctors, the nurses. Um, the rules that the government have played to stay inside, no covert party, no quarantine party, stay at home, quarantine yourself, use a sanitizer, washing your hands, etc. etc. Keep social distancing away from one another. Only the essential workers shall come out for this period of time. Um, people that are home, if you all have to go to the grocery, go straight to the grocery, straight to the market, straight to the job store, buy and straight back home. This is the law that the government are passing on all the country to stop the spread of the coronavirus virus. I do not know how long this will go, but I'm praying before the end of this month, April, it will be wiped out away from the earth so that we will be able to go out back in the community, back in our cities and towns and village, that the schools will open back. Brothers, something will come back to the semblance of normalcy. Once again, brothers and sisters, let us all pray and hope that this coronavirus virus will end in the shortest, speedest possible time, brothers and sisters. We do not want this thing to go on for a whole six months for this year. That will be terrible on our part, brothers and sisters. I don't want that and I'm sure that no one is out there who want that to go on. And if there is anyone a group of people who want the coronavirus virus to keep on going on for the for this whole year that way something wrong with that person you need to get that check up there's a saying go a lot of screws is missing you, these screws need to be put back in the set that is missing so that you'll think the right way so brothers and sisters haven't said that haven't said that brothers and sisters this is the crisis we are facing at uh, 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 this time brothers and sisters it is a terrible crisis brothers and sisters terrible crisis terrible crisis and i know you could see, and i know that you all are witnessing that i do i do have to tell you all that i know that you all are facing it just as i am facing it and mankind is facing it today brothers and sisters so with that with that brothers and sisters i will in conclusion i will end this video on that note so so we'll see you all in the next video so bye bye my friends